here is a little bottle full of water. No atmospheric pressure, well, atmospheric pressure all over it, but um, non-pressing on the water inside. Now, if I just turn the lid off a little bit. Are you sure that's water, Chris? That's water. It's got coffee in it, so you can see it. And we just take, whoops, go over here a bit. Yeah, can you see that? Yeah? Ooh. Okay. All it's got is a tiny little hole in the bottom. And as soon as the atmosphere can get in at the top, it starts pushing down on the bottom so that it can push the water out. But I hear you saying, there's atmosphere pushing on the hole there. Well, this is true. But if you've got atmosphere pushing on the hole there and you've got atmosphere pushing down at the top, then the weight of the water that's in here is also helping to push it out. So as I open it and allow the atmosphere in, we get water coming out. As I close it, we stop the atmosphere and the water can't come out anymore. It's a bit... Oh, you could do this at home. Yeah? Another, another one of atmospheric pressure. How, how good is atmospheric pressure? Let's, let's fill this glass with water. Completely full, like that. Completely full. And we'll take a postcard and just slide it across the top. So now there's no atmosphere in there. And then we'll tip it over. There's a tiny bubble. We won't worry too much about that. And then I'm going to take my hand off the bottom. You ready? One, two, three. Ta-da! <laughs> so why is that card staying on there? Because there's all that water pushing down. It's the atmosphere pushing up. Let's take some of the water out. So now we've got some atmosphere inside as well. Turn it over. What's going to happen this time? Here we go. Stayed on. So even though there's some air in there, there's not a great deal of pressure from the air. There is a pressure from the water, but there's still the atmosphere pushing up. So if you think you've got a weight on your shoulders, you have. It's the atmosphere. So we're going to continue talking about atmospheric pressure. And most of you have seen one of these sink plungers. Now try and pull it off. Why was it so hard to pull off? Well, we've got the atmosphere pushing down on the top. What have we got inside? We've got a little bit of air, but not enough to push back. So there's not much pressure inside, lots of pressure on the outside. The pressure differential then means that it's really hard and you have to apply lots of force to get it off. Unless, of course, you allow the atmosphere to sneak in. So if I allow the atmosphere to sneak in the side, then it comes off nice and easily. Somebody's going to make a bit of money out of this. They've designed these little bits of rubber that fit onto your drinks, like so. And then you can put them down wherever you are. And they're nice, different colors, so you know which is your drink and which is somebody else's. Quite difficult, again, to knock over because you're using the atmosphere on the outside, pushing down, force per unit area. Not much on the inside, pushing back quite difficult to pull it off.